I set out to bring the experience of dad's long journey through Alzheimer's disease, mom's experience as his lifelong partner and caretaker, and mom's rapid decline in death surprisingly soon after dad's passing. My sole and sincere reason in writing this is to offer information and encouragement to anyone who is now or will one day be confronting the declining health and ultimate passing of a parent or beloved family member. It's a tough road. Families are made up of a collection of people who, despite having similar DNA and childhood circumstances, are entirely different from one another in temperament, experiences, needs, and abilities. Some cope well, some don't. Some can think objectively, some can't. Some can set aside personal experience to serve a pragmatic purpose in a given moment, some can't. And the temptation to judge one another in moments of high emotional distress is acute. So, with no mea culpas for telling the story from my perspective, the only one I can accurately represent, I do acknowledge with full gratitude, sincerity, and humility the idea that my siblings may see this as a work of utter fiction. Their experiences, feelings, judgments, and contributions are not adequately reflected here. They can't be because I am not them and we have not collaborated in this work. That's a risk. I accept it, ask forgiveness for any unintended slight, and honor their differences with reverence. Additionally, I have been struck by the incredibly personal way in which excerpts of this book have touched people with whom I have shared them. Each of us has a story, comprised of life's experiences and blended to a formulation that is in many cases bittersweet. Depending on where you are on the spectrum of those experiences, your formulation may be more bitter than sweet, or vice versa. Perhaps you are currently living a dark or lonely chapter, Perhaps you are reveling in bright sunshine and golden opportunity. Or, perhaps like many of us, you are somewhere between these clearly marked episodes in something a little vaguer and less emotionally charged, waiting to see what comes next. <laughs>